my wonderful fans, readers, and people, and name it out there. <laughs> You're welcome to time out with Fumi at King Bad Day. In fact, I actually want to specially welcome you to today's delectable episode, as in like is one of its kind, Ebanon. Trust me now, <laughs> I have something wonderful for you. And it's still time out with Fumi Akimbade, and my name is still Fumi Akimbade. Here in this show, in this place, we are discussing about everything uh, that surrounds a woman, everything womanhood. Woman as a woman, woman as a wife, woman as a mother, woman as a sister, woman as a grandmother, <laughs> woman as the soul, the the soul, the the, the 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 soul of the family, woman as a strength of the home, woman as a backbone of the family. We are discussing everything about woman, and we are we are not narrowing it into just one aspect, every aspect thinkable. And in today's show, we are going to tell you something wonderful. And like my custom is, I need you to call your friends, I need you to call your spouse and your husband. And I also need you to take a pen and a paper and write something down. And I'm going to go on a short break to give you, you know, time to get yourself as uh, adjusted and seated because knowledge will be emitting from here to you. I need you to sit and listen. So I will go on a short break and I will be right back. Don't go away. Welcome back <laughs> to Time Out with Fumi Akimari. And by the way, before I actually tell you what we are going to discuss today, my number is 0029593116. SMS only. 29593116. Or you could go to my YouTube or my Twitter. Or you can as well make me an email for me at kingbade at kingbade.fumi at yahoo.com. Now we are welcome to today's episode, and today we are actually discussing about sex for the beginners. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Sex for the beginners. I'm sure you're like, oh no, no, no. Let me tell you when I say sex for the beginners, I don't mean those people that you know just went inside a mole. And just the abracadabra, and you just let go, or somebody that's just sold herself so cheap, or somebody that like you don't, you know, people are talking. They say that, 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 that. they say this, they say this. That you should not keep your virginity. If you do, you are pains, and uh, nobody will actually date you. Those are all lies, as in like lies. You see, when somebody lost something, when somebody is deprived of something. He wants a lot of people to be like him or her. So somebody that has no value for herself, and you're working with such a person, and the person just tells you, hello, what's about virginity? I beg you. That's old school. It's a lie. It's not true. It's not old school. It's a value added. And anything that has a value added, of course, appreciate. So today, we are actually looking at sex for beginners. And I need us to know that in this show, it tells you all you really need to hear about sex, sexuality, health, pregnancy, motherhood, child care, and everything <laughs> in between. So today we really want to talk about sex for the beginners. And like I said, I'm Fumi Akinbari and I'm still your host. There is a question that says, please tell me, how do I go about it? I'm raised in a family. We are sex is a taboo. We're told to keep our dignity. Now I'm dating. <laughs> my parents want me to date to get married, but they are not really telling me anything about sex. I'm clueless. What do I do? Don't worry. This is the place where all answer will be giving you free of charge. <laughs> and I said free of charge. Uh, today we are going into what I hope will be the most enjoyable lesson you've ever had in a long time. Why should, first and foremost, that the question of that question, uh, of, that, of that girl, she said she's 31, going to 32, asked, why should sex be thought? Sex wasn't thought. She wasn't thought about sex. Now, this will make me digress a little bit to her parents. 
I need you to note that you should teach your children sexual health. You should teach your children sexual education. They should have sexual insights on three grounds. According to their age, according to their exposure as per school, as per environment, as per everything informing them. And also teach them about sex according to the questions they ask you. I need to start all over again. Number one, we, it, I said, why should we, why should sex be thought? This question here, uh, this question, this lady has a question. That now she's, a, she's dating, about to be married, and she's clueless about sex. Now, you know, it's so funny. Sex is everywhere in the air. But the real good, you know, uh, 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 value added sex is not in place. It's only the corrupted one. It's only the diluted one. It's only the lies flying that a lot of us knows. We really don't know the real truth about the real, real sex. So, why should sex be thought? Isn't it instinctive? A lot of people like, uh, it's an it, 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 intuition, you know? Instinctively, it just, it's an, it, it, it's, it's an instinct. You know, you just, you know, it's animal that have sex from instinct. You don't just go and jump on anybody. It's animals, dogs, goats, rats, that just go have sex from an instinct. Instinctively, they just think, well, I need to mate. For we adults, for we human beings, sex shouldn't be something of, uh, you just thought about it and you just jump into the bed with somebody. No, it's not an insistent thing. It's something that it should be instructive. Something that you do because you want to do it and it's proper, it's in the proper place. So I said, parents, your child is one year old, your child is three, is 13, is 23, whatever. Teach your children sex on three levels. Uh, uh, on three level uh, on three levels according to their age what you would teach a three years old is not what you're going to teach a 13 years old or a 23 year old about sex according to their environment exposure exposure what they see what they hear sometimes some parent will switch off the TV set well, don't watch this. Well, don't watch it. Yes, I agree with you. Yes, it's true. But then, is it only by switching it off? Can they switch it on in a, in a phone? How about the iPad you bought then? How about the game? To, to, to just inform you, most of this game for our toddlers, three years old, two years old, five years old, www.sex has been inbuilt into some of this game. This game's things. It's been inbuilt. So if you switch off the TV, or you, you, you're not taking their phones from them. You're not taking the iPad from them. You're not taking their game from them. They still have a way of linking to whatever. So when you see the level of their exposure, what they watch, what they say, what you hear them discuss with their spa, I mean with their friends, what you see happen in their school, what you see happen within their, you know, their caucus, then you bring the object of sex into play. You teach them according to their age, according to their exposure, then according to their questions. Then this according to their question has to do with you being friendly with them. You just have to be friendly with your, with your children. Now, don't, please see. I know, I know we have to discipline them. I know they have to have the fear of their parent, but please, please, you have to be their friend. By being their friend, they are letting loose their guts. They are just like, oh, I can ask mommy anything. I can ask my daddy anything. Then according to their questions, I don't get embarrassed. Don't get it. I'm like, oh God, what? You mean you are asking? No. <laughs> Please, let me say this. There is really nothing new under the sky. That's the truth. So according to their age, according to their exposure, 
and according to the questions they ask you. Who needs such tutoring? Every of the children, every of the people that stays with us, every of you people, you, 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 are, you, are, you are, I mean, you are, you, you are, you, are, you, you have opportunity to, to tutor, to, uh, to, to mentor. All of them needs uh, sexual education, sexual health education. Are you ever too young? There is no age that you should not teach your children sex. And there is no age that should not ask any questions because the environment is full of every sexual literature, every sexual movie, every sexual sensual statement all around you. Then, old or young, everybody needs to be felt. Now, what are the possible problems that may arise as a result of ignorance? Let me tell you this. You may not believe it, but that is true. According to statistics, children from a more liberal home where sex is being felt, the proper place of sex, the proper use of sex is being felt, they keep themselves because they know the value. Look, it's just like if you, if you have a, a, a poison, you know, a poison inside a bottle and it's labeled, well labeled and well packaged. And you tell the person, you say, you know what? This bottle, the thing inside, the content inside actually is going to kill you. But it's well packaged, it's well labeled. Let me tell you the content inside. Let me tell you the, uh, the effect of the content inside. Let me tell you, let me give you an example of those who have drawn the content inside. What has happened to them? On and on. And the such person that you're talking to, you're teaching, as over the year, has confidence in you, gain confidence in you, he will listen. Now, children brought up in an environment, in a liberal environment, where you don't knock their head when they ask sexual questions. I remember <laughs> when I was growing up, I saw one of my siblings, you know, have been on a period, and I saw her exchanging sanitary towel. And I was... That was the first time I would see somebody bleeding. So I thought she was actually bleeding. I didn't know she was actually in a circle, in a menstrual circle. So I ran to tell my mother. And she gave me a very good knock. And gave me a good slap here. And another dirty slap here. And another dirty slap here. And like, shut your mouth. I was confused. Not only from the pain. Why was I beating? I was just confused. The next time... I actually went, entered into my uh, menstrual circle. I never went to my mother. I actually went to one uh, senior in my school. Because that senior in my school, when we are in the room during break, she would just tell everybody everything. And everybody would be asking her question. I went to her. That's wrong. That's wrong. Don't say, how would I do it? How wouldn't you do it? That's not it. How wouldn't you do it? Problems that may arise as a result of ignorance is that that child you uh you, you spend so much of your earnings on so much of your time on we just go and cheaply give ourselves over to the house girl in your house or give ourselves over to the house boy in your house or give himself over or when the house girl is you know molesting him he won't be able to talk so Problem, a lot of problem arise from ignorance from our parents. So, basic thing you should know to help you enjoy sex, I mean, to, uh, to help you teach them about sex, must be thought. Then, besides that, I will now go to why do we have to teach, I mean, why do we have to uh, learn sex from the age of a teenager? Why should we have to be saturated with the knowledge of relevant sex? We'll say this when we come back from the break. And I'm going to go on a short break. It's still time out for me, Akine, Akimari, and we're still dealing with sex for the beginners. And we're still saying, get a popo and a pen, write it down and call your friends. I'll be right back shortly after this break. Don't go away. Welcome back. You're still on the time out for me, Akimari, and today we're still discussing about sex for the beginners. It's also oh, simple. But I tell you that's where the problem is. The heart of the matter is the matter of the heart. You know, when the foundation of a thing is destroyed, what will you do? What will the owner of the foundation do? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely 
nothing we're talking about sex from for for the beginners and we're taking this topic out from a question asked about a girl who's been raised i'm sure from a very good home but who said i'm allowed to date i'm allowed to marry but i wasn't taught sex and i don't know what to do i'm clueless and i'm going into marriage and now basic things you should know to help you enjoy sex is this while you are dating there should be a time of course don't create a sensual environment whereby what you are discussing eventually you fall into it there should be a time you will discuss about sex with your fiance or fiance there should be and make sure that the environment is so conducive in a way that it will not insinuate sexual act i know you are glow i know you are on high i know you, you, you are high you are um, when 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 we touch you are erected you feel you you, you feel like if you you feel honey and all the stuff but still i know as of that time of teenager as of that time of dating especially when you people are in, in your courtship period you're about to get married i know the sexual um such uh, 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 sexual craving is in the highest now i said sometimes ago the ability to handle any gratification is called maturity you should be able to maturely handle this thing now discuss about sex you and your spouse need to do an open discussion about sex to the extent you know not practical sex let me say this there should be a timing that you will discuss about sex maybe once in a month throughout your time of what 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 is your idea of sex because if a, a man that wasn't taught about sex his friend have just told him you know what you do when you get there just do guru guru mago mago just enter you know just do buffet no 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 this is not an idea of buffet because you would legally under the law marriage legally rape that girl and the first the, the first the first uh, the first idea of sex which is a, a, a sort of legal rape from you kiss you know taunt her memory taunt her brain and she doesn't just see sex as beautiful and when you are advancing, she she runs away. So you don't do gururu, magumago, you don't just enter, you know. No, no, no. Capital letter N O with this. No, you don't do that. You ask, ask yourself and be open. Man, I really know nothing about sex. Yes, you need to. And if you don't, then there are literature. For instance, I have a book, Sexual Intimacy in Marriage. It's a bestseller. It's one of the best books on sexual information uh, 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 you know for sexual education sexual health education that is in the market that is in the society as of now is still best selling and is still selling well get the book sexual intimacy in marriage by fumi akimbari read together know the basic information about sex discuss what you know about sex for the woman she might like ah when you have sex with me then i'll be pregnant now then we have the first set of things that is an archaic idea of sex that's an archaic how about the man ah, sex now you know when i need sex you give me now that's a stupid idea of sex from the man because it's a mutual enjoyment it's a mutual relationship it bonds sex is a, a necessary marriage there is no substitute for sex in marriage is what everybody must know and know the really good one and engage in it so no basic things you should know about sex first and foremost discuss about sexual relationship while you're dating if you not discover that oh man this boy no no jara oh, this girl no no nothing no nothing two things read book together but make sure that you create an environment whereby you will not you will not fall into sexual temptation now let me say this let me say this i know we're like wow 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 now let me say this let me say this if you cheaply fall into sexual sin while you're dating while you're married you have corroded the element called trust shall i repeat myself when you cheaply fall into sexual sin sexual temptation while you are dating you have corroded the element called trust while you're married because you know what that lady will think you will easily cheaply have sex with somebody else and that man will like but how many how many i just touch her like this and she felt yakata 
So she will fall for my friend. And then uh, that trust will be another a little bit. So I need you to be in. Don't tell me that it's not true. He lost me, he lost me. Look, loss is in love is in stages in marriage. There's a stage where the euphoric love is just bubbling and all over the place. There's a stage where it will just calm down. That is a stage where it will be drilling, and, and, you know, drip, and dipping, you know, dropping a little bit. There's a stage where sometimes it may dry off. And that is the truth. And I need you to know that it's not only love that will keep marriage. A lot of things. Trust. Trust. So sometimes you just hear some comments from your spouse and you're like, what? The, what? But you, you made me do this. There, there's a case now that is his own that we'll just pray that God should intervene. The, 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 they were dirty. They were high, high school lovers. And you know what? You know what? And other stuff. And she got pregnant. And wow, my parents must not hear about this. And the man, my parents, okay, go get yourself an abortion. Yeah, they had an abortion. Well, they got married. They, they, I met, they, 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 they are all, both are doctors, medical personnel. And years in, year out, into marriage, there are no kids. And after some time, the man start going out to like, ah, I've stayed with you for a while. Ah, I've tried. I've done all I could. And you don't have kids. So what would I be? Is it my fault? And you start dating somebody else. Start looking for how to have children. And the woman has start shouting. No, I was pregnant once, so no, we had sex before, and I was pregnant only for you. You were the one that is fetching me. And when I was pregnant, you said that you are bought. Whatever the case may be, the society still look at the woman as the one who is actually at fault. Do you see? You got a picture? So I need you to know that discuss sexual matters together. If you don't have any clue, read materials together. If uh, still after you are reading materials together, you still felt there's so much to learn. There are sexual therapy, uh, sex therapists. There are sexologists. You could give us a call. You can mail us. If you, you can mail us and you can send SMS, we will give you counsel. There are a lot of us out there who will help you. We're going to go on a short break. The number to SMS only on is 0029593116. 0029593116. And I also need you to know that you could Twitter, you could send your question to YouTube. You can also watch us on YouTube. We have a lot of this on YouTube. And also you could also mail us at kingbandit.fumi at yahoo.com. All your questions will be answered. If I can answer them, I'll make referral for you. And all your sexual health questions, all your medical health questions, we will be glad to help you. We're going to go on a short break. We'll be right back shortly. After the break, don't go away. Welcome back. <laughs> You're still on to time out with me, Akimbari, and we are still dealing with one thing that looks as if, uh-oh, uh-oh, but actually it's indebted with a lot of Truth and fact and information, sexual relationship for the very, very beginners. <laughs> and uh, we've, we've trashed a lot of things before we went on breaks. And uh, there was a question of somebody who's raised up to like keep herself pure for the man she's gonna get married to and, uh, and on and so on and so forth. And she said, I know everything, I also keep myself, but I'm clueless about a good sex when I'm married. What do I do? I'm allowed to date, I'm allowed to be married, but I'm not allowed to have sex while dating. Yeah, that is the truth. And we are saying here that there are a lot of things you will do, we should have done. And we said a, 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 quite a lot of them before we went on break. And um, we're, we're, we're continuing. And today, I mean, now I want us to look at, is there anything called bad sex? Bad sex. Yes. When the man goes wrongly, wrongly, seeking for sex in marriage it could be bad sex when the woman is extremely frigid and like running elder skelter in the room with three four uh boxes and tights there could be a bad sex when some medical issue arises there could be bad sex now when you don't have enough privacy there could be bad sex let's take it from number one now sex could be bad when the husband skip foreplay during sex now because do you know what 
That's the that's the order of the day. That was goes on. Many men married. Uh oh, with all titles, I will name it. They skip foreplay. They skip love play. They're like, oh, it, it's uh, it's like a torture. Come now, let's do it and go, go do it and finish and you know do the next thing. No, not at all. That's wrong. When you do that, you are actually doing, uh, engaging in bad sex. Do not skip foreplay. Do not take foreplay out of your agenda. In fact, when you skip foreplay, you enter road close, dead end. That is the truth. Because if you want to have good sex with your wife, do not skip foreplay. Now, this is the physiology of sex between husband and wife. A man get easily aroused by mere sight, by mere touch, by mere watch movie, by mere reading material, by mere probably reading my article and uh, in, 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 in one of those newspapers, by mere what up, uh, punch newspaper, started the punch newspaper, sexual, uh, sex and sexuality with Fumi Akimbari, by mere just listening, even voice, even body odor, mm. the man is ready for transparent transaction, come on. And anything that wants to, you know, stop him, he budos away. And you budos, even there's a way men, a husband clumsily remove a brazier. Can you, sometimes you will tear it or sometimes you rough onto the woman as if she's in, she's the next spray to be raped. You just, I like, you just open her up, you shut the door off the light, bam. Just as if you, <laughs> Open the computer, data in, data out, shut down. And the woman is like, God, into your heart. <laughs> I commit my spirit. What? What is this? That's a bad set. Don't skip for play. Yes, you are aroused. Yes, it takes a few minutes to get aroused. You have to take time to understand the uh, uh, arousal too. What does it take to get aroused? It does it the same timing. The, 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 the season could be the same, but the time it differs. You get aroused within three minutes, she get aroused within the next 20, 25, 30 minutes. So you have to blend. So when you are aroused and you want to blend with us, fill the blending with the love play and the foreplay. play. Wow. That is the truth. And while you are doing that, you quicken our arousal. You lovely do that. Please, when I say do that, that's not where you will now undo the breast as if it's an handkerchief, you know? You can imagine somebody pull your scrotum and your and your penis and start doing like this. you like, uh -uh, do you want to kill me? Same. Do you want to kill the woman? And when I say, you know, loving, loving, caressing, as if it's a feather touch, as if it's a feather that is touching her, you know, caress her out. Even if it's fidget, 100% raised to power, 100%, she will go scan down. You are coming down and nurse. You are touching sensory organs, uh, sensory sensations here and there. And you are helping her to get to your level. The moment you get to your level, man, you will be amazed. The display, she will be displayed. So please, says, could be bad. Then, I also want to let men, women know that sex could be bad. If you, when you are pregnant, you say road close. Or when you are offended. You, sh you, you just tie your legs together or you put pillow in between the, the uh, be, 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 you separate both of you on the bed with your pillow and you say don't don't tr don't trans uh, don't don't jump over to this one or when you, you know or with your bitter you carry bitterness or you give reasons they are tangible tani they are tangible but they should not surpass the reason for you to take care of him. Oh, I've been on school runs, I've been taking care of the baby, I've been breastfeeding. Or the moment you start breastfeeding, you say, no, the breast is meant for the children and not for you. That's when sex could be bad. That's the truth. You still try and look for opportunity and avenue to give him sex. If, even when you're genuinely tired, you could still tell him, you know what? I'm actually genuinely tired, but can we make it for another day and I will give you overdose? We are supposed to have 30 minutes and make sure it's two hours. He's ready. He will remember. Ah, men will remember. 
That's it. Because men think so much about sex every time, more than women. Sex could go bad. Then how about some sexual health challenge? Now we'll say that when we're back from the break. We'll call a short break. The number to call in is 0 2959311116. And I also need us to know that akikbade.fumi.com is my email. You could tutor us. You could go on YouTube. You could link us on YouTube. We are there. And even Facebook. Go there and ask us your questions or SMS us. I will still go on a short break. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Welcome back. You're still on Titanga with me, Akimbari. And today we are still discussing about sex for beginners. Sex for uh -uh, beginners. Those who are clueless. And before we went on the break, we said that sex can be bad. Is there a bad sex? When men skip for play? When men undo their wife anyhow? When they are brutal on bed? When they only satisfy themselves? Sex for beginner is this. Maximum masculine control and maximum feminine satisfaction. When that is not in place, when you're so clumsy about it, when you don't know what to do and you pretend as if you do, <laughs> sex is bad. Many times why sex go bad is because many of us wives, we are not participating. We are just involved. We are not participating. Sex, you are not going through the sex. The sex is going through you. You are not going through the sex. Your whole body, spirit, soul, and body is not there. And that's why you don't get out to, you don't get to orgasm. You don't get to climax. Below, somewhere like, eh, eh? What did you say? What is climax? <laughs> what is orgasm? Oh, because you don't know what. You are not involved. You just like, some of us, some of us will like even say, okay, let me turn this side. Just enter from the back. When you finish, tell me so that I go on. Uh-oh. Nasty. That is the truth. So that one could make sex go bad. How about some medical cases? Mm-hmm. Now, your, 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 your foreplay is okay. You're sensitive to the needs of your husband. When you're pregnant, you find room. When you're breastfeeding, you find room for him. Everything you are lying with his fantasies and so on and so forth. But there are cases where sex could be bad because of medical conditions. We are going to trash that when we are back from the break. Don't go away. We are still on to time out for me, I think, by the and the number to call us. Oh, SMS is 0029593. One, one, six. Welcome back. <laughs> Let me show you enjoy yourself. We are still on to time out with Fumi Akimbari and we are still discussing about la 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 beginning, beginners, begun, sexual relationship for beginners. And it's still time out with Fumi Akimbari and I'm still Fumi Akimbari here in live direct. I was still discussing about sexual relationship and there was a question that preceded our answers and over the time before when we started we've been trashing the question he's okay she wants to get married she's dating but she's clueless about what to expect and what to give and what to do for for our husband while married as per sexual relationship and actually we trash those ones and we're not asking is there anything like bad sex? He said they could be. And we've discussed about some natural things that can happen because of our ignorance. We've discussed about them extensively. When you're ignorant of the fact that you're, you're <clears throat> as a man, your your wife needs to needs to be carried along. And as a woman, you need to participate, you need to be sensitive, you need to make sex. You need to look forward to sex and you need to make your spouse look forward to sex. We also say that there could be some sexual health. Now, how about the physical or psychological condition that affects a woman's ability to engage in any form of vaginal penetrative sex, which is always called vaginism. This one, the it didn't touch that area. And they are freed and they're like, oh, it's a medical condition. And I need you to know that if you have this condition, 
I need you to get to the hospital. See a gynecologist. You need to be, you need to be talked out of this. You need to be medically helped out of this. We need to know your history, your sexual history. Were you raped? Did you saw? Did you witness a rape scene? Why were you bru bastardized when you're younger? Did you see anything that affects you that day and transcends to that? To, to, to that part of your body we need you to know we, we need to know that and we need to we need you to know that there is help there is remedy for you so there are people that are married and they won't open their mouth all because of this fear the fear of penetrative uh, penetrative sex vaginal penetrative sex and also uh, 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 the, 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 the fear of oh sex could be painful now, the vagina is okay, the muscle of the vagina is not going into spasm, nothing is wrong with the vagina, but psychologically, you just have this feel that, woo, this thing is going to pain to death. Uh oh. That also, you need to see a gynecologist. You need somebody to talk you over. Then, how about some of us that have had bad experience of sex? Something has happened. You, 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 you are addicted to some sexual mal malpractices and you cannot, oh, so many things, so many things. There's a question here. A boy brought from the East to be a protege under somebody and is exposed to his master, to, to, to his master, some sexual mal malpractices. The master who, the master believe only on her sex and will, will ejaculate in his mouth and make him swallow it. Already that person is no more human. There's something wrong somewhere. Like, like that one now. You and you you are dating somebody who is not aware of your sexual past. You, that's when sex could go bad because that person might not be able to have sex normally because of the distorted idea of sex, and you may even want to drift into that act. That is the only thing that boy knew from a teenage age. He was exposed to sex in that angle. That is a wrong word. That sex could go bad. Or is it somebody that until two, three men have their feel on you, you can you won't say you have sex. I've seen cases where until two, three men have ruled sex with you. That's when you you are okay sexually. That is wrong. That one is when sex go bad. No, I know a lot of us watch porn, but they are not actually acting normally. They are either, most of them are acting under or spell. And cameras are all around them. And people are all around them. And they are also on, not only under on spell, they are also under drugs. They have been injected with drugs and make them to behave abnormal. You can imagine three men on a woman, and uh, one is helping your mouth there with his penis, another is taking care of your breast there, another is helping your vagina there, another one is helping your anus. Of course, you're going to be mad after some time. That is the truth. Because you have distorted sex. Sex is not that. That is not sex. Since it, it, those people that act on pornography, they are not human. They don't do what is humanly necessary. They show us a distorted picture. And that's why they, they give us a standard. It's a wrong standard. You can you can work with such standard. You can succeed with such standard. And you can have a healthy sexual relationship with such standard. That's just the truth. So sex could go bad. Now, if you have a premature ejaculation, sex could go bad. And I always say with premature ejaculation, when you have the, you know, the backing of your wife, when you open up to your wife and say, this is God, well, you could easily overcome premature ejaculation. And let me give you one tip here. Then we'll, we'll run it up for today. And tomorrow is another big day. Now, if you have issue with premature ejaculation, you could do this. Do a good foreplay, beautiful foreplay, good, heavy foreplay. And when you notice that the woman is actually at the peak of you wanting wanting you to come in. Now, go in with your penis, not everything into a vagina. Like the one third of it. Just start trusting in and out, trusting in and out, trusting in and out. And after some time, 
when you notice that you 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 are helping yourself or holding up onto your ejaculation, you will not even ejaculate. That is the truth. Then you go you use it to tap on it in and out, in and out, in and out, and already. As you're doing that, try to caress the glittery of your wife. In fact, you will have before and give her a heavy clitoral stimulation. In and out, in and out. And when you notice that she's at the edge, at the brim of orgasm, you can go deep into her and trust as fast as you can and trust as long as you can. You will just realize that both of you will climax together. Wow, what a wonderful day. <laughs> This is an awesome time. I know a lot of us have enjoyed yourself. I have enjoyed myself. Come me. I mean, just if you look at my heart, man, in fact, I felt as if body is lifted because I've been able to pass out information that your marriage can succeed. Going into that new marriage can succeed, but it can only succeed if you as a person knows that if you apply relevant and adequate information and the, 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 the good one, you have the best of good sex as a beginner. Am I going to go for today? Because <laughs> I just have to close for now. And uh, it's been beautiful with you. The number two SMS only is 0029593116. 00295931166. We are on Twitter, on YouTube, and on Facebook, and I'm also on email at kingbrady.fumi at yahoo.com. Please send us your questions. You know, join us on Twitter, join us on uh, YouTube, and uh, 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 friend us on Facebook. And also, I need you to send me emails and ask your question. Send and uh, send SMS. And I'm still Fumi Akimari. And it's still time for Fumi Akimari. Au revoir. Bye for now. See you later.